This is a little project I've been working on. It's a phase cut dimmer and it connects to Home Assistant via ESP Home. Um, as you can see, it's got um, two insulated gate bipolar transistors, which are for control and the dimming. It can be either leading edge or trailing edge, and it works really well. I've got it connected up, tried it with a number of different lights, down lights, LED ones, um, some expensive ones and some cheap ones, and they all work um, pretty well. It has... Um, an FL5150 IC for dimming just down there. It's got the 3 watt power supply, 3.3 um, volt. And around the back here, it's just got a um, ESP8266 module and um, some programming headers right down the back just there. Uh, this is my third prototype, and each pro every prototype has worked so far. Um, obviously, this one here is probably the smallest one that I've made. It's very um, compact. And I've got it connected up right now to three um, standard 10 watt down lights. So we'll just have a look at it and see how well it, how it works. So when it first comes on, even when the slider is down very low, that's the, I've got that calibrated to the setting of these lights. So that's as bad as low as they'll go before they start to flicker. And then as we um, So that's the down lights being controlled by a home assistant in the um, user interface. So it's um, controlled through ESP Home. It's got a custom um, file attached to it just to control the I squared C DAC, which is on that little board. And this is the code for it just here. It's pretty straightforward. It's just a custom custom output component and basically I've just got this statement here. I've tried a number of different versions but I sort of settled on this statement here so that this first one if, if it's um, if it's off it writes off to the DAC otherwise if it's not off it'll um, stay between the ranges of 600 and 3350 which is the dimming ranges that suit these downlights that I'm using. So it's pretty straightforward, the code. And then if we come across here and look at the, the YAML file in ESP Home. So this is the YAML file just here. And it's just got the um, I squared C connection just here. Um, the output which um, uses that that custom header file and a light to set the light up. So it's pretty straightforward and pretty easy to um, get going and it works well. Uh, I'm going to move on to another version next which is um, with this this one here. I've had a problem with one of the resistors which is supplying power to the IC. The resistor I've used is, is too small. Um, this resistor just here, I checked it with my thermal imaging camera and that resistor there is going up to 170 degrees and I think it's just because it's got too much current going through it. It needs a larger, res um, larger wattage resistor and it should be okay. Everything else otherwise is working quite well. I'll just power this um, dimmer down and I'll, I'll turn it over because there's something that, on the back. <coughs> so basically this dimmer is controlled via this little DAC just here and it's got an I squared C connection to this ESP module and, and that runs into the dim control pin here and it syncs 
the power from the dim control pin because that supplies sources power and the DAC can sync power and set the analog voltage level to adjust the level of the brightness of the lights and we've got of course we've got this here which is the setting the mode so we can select trailing edge or leading edge but I was just going to relay out this board a bit neater and maybe use a different power supply a non-isolated power supply because it's not, there's no need to have it an isolated power supply attached to this so that's yeah it's the project I've been working on if you want to if you like to see how this project goes or if you want to see any of the other projects I've been working on um, to control um, home automation and to do with home assistant then subscribe and um, if you like this video give us a uh, thumbs up give us a like thanks for watching